Another exciting Sid Davis production, 60s social movies. Same guy who brought us Boys Beware. Girls Beware of hot jazz music. And you might remember the Inglewood Police Department and Ralph and Jimmy from Boys Beware. Same police department. Someone stole your strudel, yeah. I'm Norma Neufner, policewoman. Attacked if I valued my job, I'd dress a little sexier. I'm on a call from a very worried mother. Be a little mascara would help. Her daughter's name is Judy <laughs> Miller. Bullets and boards make me very happy. <laughs> Judy enjoyed babysitting, but there weren't enough jobs among the people she knew. So she decided to advertise at the supermarket for extra work. Selling tiny little classified ads. Late the following afternoon, the phone rang, and Judy was offered a job for that evening. It's five dollars a blow, ten dollars a leg. Mm. How much for a Cleveland steamer? <laughs> Judy's mother hadn't returned when it was time to go, so she left a message by the telephone. Bow tie, red flag. Dear mom and dad, plowing the neighbor, don't wait up, kiss, kiss, bunny. When her mother came home, she found Judy's mm, note. Judy's going to be to dead before mom finishes dialing this rotary phone. Takes a little while. Still going. Still dialing. A woman answered, but she didn't know anything about it. I mean, a little clutch finance for Potatoes Town. You can meet with the Potatoes Town. By midnight, Mrs. Miller was really worried. She phoned the police and was transferred to juvenile. I took the necessary information and assured her we'd do everything we could. She'd have to try you to. You cut a pork roast wait. with that face. The waiting <laughs> John Travolta and drag. Then the report came in. Judy's body had been found on a lonely desert road. And found on a white snake album cover. <laughs> the bad news came the through on the teletype there. <laughs> Very impersonal. Telegram, your daughter has been asked right by a you big can black dead. find the right words to tell the mother her daughter has been murdered. Judy hadn't done anything wrong. She'd only been careless. Careless about whom she'd trusted. In itself, there'd been nothing wrong about advertising. And if she had dressed yeah, like me, this never would have happened. Mm, absolutely. A mentally sick person who used her innocent ad as an introduction to his act of violence. There's a Hallmark card for this moment. Being safe is often no more than applying good judgment in everyday life. One night while Barbara was babysitting, the doorbell rang. She didn't open the door, but called and asked who it was. A stranger said his car had broken down. Mom, what's a glory hole? Barbara was very polite, but she told him she was babysitting and expecting a call from her parents. However, she was sure the next door neighbors were home and perhaps... Why don't you go home. murder them? <laughs> the stranger thanked her and left. Now, Barbara had been polite and helpful, but she hadn't taken any chances. And when her father called, she was safe. Ten minutes later, the neighbors were ass-raped. Ass to face. <laughs> Kids a little young be hanging out at a jazz club with theater seating. Right. Vern and Shirley. Sally and Elizabeth. Their parents alternated weeks taking them and picking them up. Is this Inglewood or Milwaukee? Friendships are or lesbians, duh. Two older boys struck up a conversation and moved next to them. They were secretly pleased. Do I please you? Do you find me pleasing? At intermission, Sally found it flattering to have her friend see her in the company of older it's boys. It's been a long movie. When they asked if they could take the girls home, she was all for it. She asked Elizabeth to call her folks and tell them that they could ride with a friend's parents. Elizabeth was tempted, but decided it wouldn't be right. Yeah, more penis Sally for me, I guess. Point. 
When the show was over and they were leaving, the boys suggested that if Elizabeth couldn't go with them, why didn't Sally come? Sally thought it was a great idea and asked Elizabeth to tell her folks that her parents had picked her up. Elizabeth didn't like the idea, but Sally insisted. So, Elizabeth left alone. Country star, Randy Travis. <laughs> Before the first of many liquor shots that day. Not any of the boys she went with had a car, so it was fun riding with the older fellows. Secretly, she was turned on. But when they drove right past her house, she became concerned. When they arrived at Lookout Peak, she was frightened. She tried to convince herself there was nothing to worry about, but when they parked off the road, she knew she had gotten herself into something she couldn't handle. A three-way! <laughs> At midnight, her parents became alarmed and called the Nelson. Yes, Elizabeth was home. Hadn't they picked up Sally? No, over an hour ago. Well, of course she could talk to Elizabeth. Between guilty tears, Elizabeth told what had happened. I hate guilty tears. Sally had been found, dazedly walking down the road from Lookout Peak. And she was walking very funny. <laughs> In fact, Sally may never be able to forget it. Often Burger, Maltz, Ford, and Chevy. To be just where wrong associations are made. Mary met Robert at just such a place. Robert frequented the malt shop in his spare time, which was considerable, as he'd finished high school and didn't work. Here he sought out the company of younger teenagers. And taquitos and tacos for a quarter. Mm. Age group. It's Mary like the Roller Robert Island. Found the malt it was ethnic school. food back then. Mm -hmm. Mary had seen Robert before and thought he was very good looking, so she was naturally flattered when he singled her out and struck up a friendly conversation. He was fun it's to very flattering to from a high school dropout with no job. Lives with his when parents. When ride home, she was only too happy to accept. Well, my taquitos haven't come yet. <laughs> uh, I want to go talk about myself some more. Let's get in my truck. Fish in a barrel. They drove around for a while and talked. Mary was a good listener, and Bob enjoyed nothing more than talking about himself. Mm -hmm. It's a pretty nice truck for a dropout Mary with no her job. Mary would be upset if she came home with an older boy, so Bob dropped her at the corner. She arrived safely and on time. After that, they saw a good deal of each other. At first, Bob was willing to see her at the malt shop, but as time went Let's on, bounce. he became jealous of her friends and insisted on their spending more time alone. I'd love to hear Bob talking about himself a little more. I like our movies and trucks. Uh... They began to go to secluded places and their relationship became more intimate. Mary knew things were getting out of hand because Bob became more and more demanding. In the bedroom. Not wishing to lose his friendship or the prestige she enjoyed from her friends for having an older boyfriend, she complied with his desire. And now she has a bun in the oven. Not Mary good for 60s trouble. high school. But now it was too late for advice, and Mary had to be Prego. taken out of school. You are out of here. <laughs> How dare you get pregnant in my high school. Is not an unusual one. Too many young girls are flattered by the attention of older boys and don't realize until too late... You should be dating an 83-year-old man like me. Uh, yeah, I saw the way she was well eyeing the old-timer there. She's moist. <laughs> you see, it's often the things that are done without thinking that get young people into trouble. Trying to move too quickly into a world of grown-ups with a young person's fate. And the case of the teenage slut is exactly. finally solved. This case is closed. Sid Davis, that was brilliant once again.